Welcome back. I am going to attempt to solve some chess puzzles today on chess.com. I have already pulled up the screen here. Uh, the most obvious thing here, because they have just moved their bishop, is that my queen is in danger. I assume I have to move my queen, but I don't know that for sure. Um, what is the what is the main idea of this position? One idea in this position is my bishop here that's pointed down through these squares, which makes me wonder if there's not a queen sacrifice involved here. If I do sacrifice my queen, there's no other legal move other than the king other than the king to capture my queen. Then anywhere I move this bishop is a discovered check. Sorry, I said bishop, didn't I? Anywhere I move this knight is a discovered check from my bishop. But then the king has choices. The, then the opponent has choices because it doesn't matter where I move the knight. Let's just say I move the knight down here. They could block with the pawn, which would be protected by two pieces, or they could just move the king back. So I don't think it's the queen's sacrifice. But if I move my queen, where should I move it? Should I move my queen back here to f4? It's not threatening anything from there. It's just getting out of danger. If I move it here, they can threaten it with one or either of the pawns. So maybe this bishop down here is not the main idea of this puzzle. It just seems like it is. Another idea that I have, I just thought of this. Maybe the bishop is part of the idea here. What if I were to move the knight first? I don't know. Say here, opening up the bishop, pointed down there at their bishop. Then if they took my queen, my knight and my bishop would both be pointed at that spot. But so would their, so would their king and their bishop, because their bishop would be over here at that point. Okay, so that doesn't make sense either. Maybe looking for the main idea of this puzzle is throwing me off. Normally I look for checks. Uh, those are the only two checks that I have. Captures, I do not have any captures other than the queen taking one of those three pieces. And I don't have any threats that I know of. The only threats that I can see involve this bishop pointed down there. But for that to work, I need to move my queen someplace. Okay, now here's an idea. What if I, what if I moved my knight here to f4, like I said? Now if I do that, they'll, they could take my bishop. Okay, but the, what I was thinking was if they took my queen, that would be mate, would it not? Knight to f5, I said. I said, did I say f4? I, I meant f5. Knight to f5. Uh, well, it threatens mate here, so I, I assume they would take my queen, but then moving my knight there to h6 would be checkmate, because that would be check, and the bishop would cut off the escape squares from down here. Bishop on b2. Okay, so what if they didn't take my queen? What if they took my bishop? Then my knight's hanging, and my rook is hanging for that matter. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else, so I'm probably going to fail this puzzle, but then we'll find out what the answer was. Yeah, that wasn't it. Okay, I'm going to click the hint button as soon as it lights up. I don't know why there's like a three second delay, but there is. Okay, it was a queen sacrifice of taking the uh, taking the bishop there. Okay, and then we're going to go with, oh, I had the right moves. It was the queen sacrifice. I should have dwelt on that a little bit longer. I don't feel too bad about that. I, I did have the right idea that the bishop was important and that the knight had to go here to get there to checkmate, but it couldn't get there because the queen was there. Let's go ahead and do the next one. Hopefully we'll do a little bit better there. All right, they've just taken something here. Looks like a, maybe a rook. I do have a check here, but then the king gets out this way. Um, I could follow it back up, but then the king goes back to where it was and we have some sort of repetition. I also have a check here, which they could block with the rook. See, is that safe? I think it is. If they block with the rook, I would have this check, which would remove the defender of the rook, and then I would win the rook. Or I could just win that rook now, once they move out of check, however they get out of check. Once I take the bishop, they can block. And then I take this rook over here with my queen on b8, threatening to take this bishop, which would be a check again. And the king's cut off from these squares by my other rook. That's one idea. But how much danger am I in down here? I'm in a lot of danger down here, so I don't know if I can afford to just go around picking off pieces. I, that's one reason I often look to see what the opponent has on me at that point. Right now their knight's guarding d3 and their queen's pointed at d3, and that's going to be made. Because I can't escape here because their pawn guards that square, and their pawn guards this square. And from right there, their queen would be guarding all of these. Um, so yeah, I would be done for. So I have to check on every move. Okay, now that we've determined that, that they have a mate in one right here on d3, I have to come up with a, a mate very quickly. And I don't think it's this, as I said, because they go back. And if they go back, again, I, I could come back to g5 and check them again. And then they would have to go back to where they are. Wait, is that mate? No, that's not mate. Okay, back to the bishop. On that one, their only legal move is blocking with the rook, right? Okay, so that's a little forcing. Wait. I think I see. Okay. I think it's the bishop. 
Because this leaves them only one legal move. I don't have to calculate a bunch of variations. They can't come over here because of my rook. They can't escape any other way. They have to block with the rook. Then I go all the way back over here to h6. And again, they can't come over to the g-file because of my rook. They would have to go to where their rook just was. And then that's mate because they have no escape. Okay. All right, I probably wouldn't have gotten that if I didn't realize that they already had a maiden one on me down here on d3. Let's go to the next puzzle, see if I can make up some more of the points I just lost. Okay, white has just blocked the rook check with their bishop on e1. I have a queen way over here. What's it doing? I don't know. And my opponent has mate, in, no, mate incoming right here really fast. So again, opponent has mate in one. I have to do something and I have to do it now. What checks do I have? I have this check with my rook capturing on e1. In that case, I assume the king would take back, although it wouldn't have to. It could, it could just move up out of check. But in that case, assuming I had taken here and the king moved up, in that case, I would take this rook and that would be check. And then the king would have to run and... Oh, and then I would come here protected by my queen. And I think that would be mate because of the squares that the pawn guard. Okay, so what if it took? If it took, then I would check here by taking the rook on c1, and then the king would have to get off the back rank one of these two ways. And then I would take this pawn on c2 and check again, because it would be in one of those two spots. Then the king could come forward to one of these three squares if it had gone over there. If it came over here, it, um, it could come forward to one of these two squares. So then my assumption would be, uh, once they took back and I took the rook, that they would go this way. Oh, no, sorry, they would already be on e1, so they would go this way. So when I took this pawn, they would go this way, trying to get out. And then would I have anything? Because, again, they have made in one, so I have to be able to... Let's see, what if I took the rook first? They take back, I think they would have to. Well, they wouldn't have to. They could come this way, couldn't they? If they did take back, then I take the bishop, but then they just come out. It's, it's got to be... Those are the only two checks I have, right? Okay. It was that one then it's got to be taking the rook, because that's the only check I have in this position. Oh, that was handy. It moved here instead of there. Well, that helps out a lot, because that gives the, that gives the king fewer options when I check again, because it's only these two squares. If it had mo moved over here and I checked again, it would have had more options. Plus, right here, it's susceptible to a check by my knight, which is protected. Also, that pawn is under fire from me. Well, let's see. I check here... They go there. I check here. Actually, that would happen on either one of those squares. But should I check with the knight first? That's the question. If I check with the knight first, what choices do they have? They can come toward the knight. Oh, no, they can't go there because of my queen. It would have those two choices. Oh, but then I wouldn't be able to take this pawn. So I think it's got to be here first and just leaving the knight to help guard those two squares. Okay, so that gives the king two options. And either way, I can come here with my queen because my bishop protects that square. That wasn't it. Okay, so it had to be the knight check then. It just stops? That's why I didn't take that option, because I saw once we got here, then the, the king just moves. And yeah, I could check again, but, but then the king just moves again. Oh, but then I would have mate over here. Okay, well, why didn't it go to that? Okay, I, I'm obviously I'm a little frustrated because I lost the puzzle, but... It is frustrating when you're following out a line of checks and you, you discard one line because it doesn't seem to lead anywhere. And then it doesn't lead anywhere because the puzzle just stops in the middle of the action. All right. Playing with the black pieces. I mean, I have a check, which would force the king here. Then I have a check, force the king there. I, like, that's my only check in this position, right? I mean, I'm not counting these two. Um, if I go there, yeah, that, that's, that's a one move forcing move. Check again. King's forced here. Then I can't check again because my knight's in the way. Oh, wait, my knight's guarding that square. I can check there. Okay. Well, that forces the king here. Then I check by taking the pawn, and the king is forced here. And then I check again by taking this pawn, and the king is forced here. And then I, ha I check there, and the queen has to take? Nope, that was wrong. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go there first. I was. Oh, man, I knew the right move. I just did it wrong. That's even more frustrating. I knew the whole sequence. I had it figured out, but then I but I made the wrong move. <laughs> oh wow, it's gonna be one of those kind of days. All right. 
Pretty sure it's not checking down here because the knight's guarding that square. Maybe I should take the knight first? I like those tripled pawns. That's the kind of thing I almost never see in a game, but I see in puzzles all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna take the knight. Oh, that was it. All right, well then that's prob- okay, and then it went there. Then, uh, then it's probably taking the bishop. Oh, there's still more. Is it taking this pawn? Or is it checking again? It's not checking again, because then they'll come here. Oh, it- I didn't see that the knight was guarding that pawn, but it was still the right move. All right, well, that one seemed really easy. Maybe the computer started feeling bad for me. Oh, the, the theme was Rooks on the Seventh. I gotta stop looking at the themes. They're almost always wrong. What is the point of having them there if they're, most of them are going to be wrong? Wait, I'm playing with the white pieces, and that they thought that was their best move? Okay. Well, I can move this bishop anywhere, and it's check. Where, where do I want to move my bishop? Like here? If I move my bishop to d3, that's check from the queen. My knight cuts off these squares. My queen cuts off all these. My bishop would be hitting those two, so that would leave them only one legal move. If I moved here, they'd have to go to a, a5. And then I guess I could check them again, but then they could just go back, right? Oh, but if they went back, I, I would be protected by the bishop. Um, what if I went to a6? Does that make a difference? Put the bishop on a6, it's discovered check. They still have to go there. But then when I come here, they can take the bishop, so I don't think that's it. But I do think, I mean, I do think it's moving the bishop, I just don't know where. Like, how far? Does it matter? Like, do I want to put it in the path of the queen, or do I want to take it all the way back here? Or do I want to go there with it? which tempts the king to take it. I don't think so, because if they were smart, and uh, after that discovered check, they would just go behind it. Oh, if they went behind it, I would go here. Wait, maybe that's it. Just leave the bishop there, because these spots are protected by the pawn on b3. Okay. So if the king takes, I have this check on c4, but then the king could just move over one, but then I would have this check if the king went there, and then it would go there, and then what do I have? I mean, it's probably moving the bishop, but it might not be. Wait, what about this check here? That's mate, isn't it? Queen to e1 is mate, because the bishop guards those squares, the pawn guards these squares, the knight covers c5, and my queen down here would be cutting off that entire diagonal, and there's no way for them to block it, except pulling the queen down, which I would just take. Took me way too long to see that. All right. Mate in one. Oh, the theme was right this time. Wait, that that's... No, that's that's wrong. It's not mate. Not yet. I mean, it will be. It's mate in two, right? There's nothing to prevent them from moving their queen there. Yeah, that's not mate in one. Thumbs down. It's mate in two. Pretty sure. Okay. Well, I could take their queen. If I don't, they're going to take mine. We've run into this situation before. They're in, They're not just aiming at my king. They're aiming at my queen. If I move out of check, they're taking my queen, and then they're going to win. So I have to take their queen. I, there's no question. Then they're going to take back, and I'm going to need to block those pawns while also getting my pawn down the board. All right. If I move my pawn first, then they move theirs, I can still catch it. Right? Okay. So that's settled. So I should move my pawn first. Okay, they didn't move their pawn. Well, then I should keep moving my pawn, right? Let's see. Can they catch it? They cannot, so I don't know why they moved their king. That seems like a blunder to me. Okay, I have no idea why the puzzle went on for that many moves, but then stopped there. I'm not sure why they didn't try this to distract my king away from my own pawn. Uh, okay. Well, that one was cut and dried. Oh, it says simple. I agree. This time, I think it was simple. Okay. This one's not quite as simple. It isn't. I do have a majority over here, but my opponent has a protected passed pawn on c4. And I can't get closer to it, because their king cuts off all those squares. And their pawn cuts off that one. So I can't get closer to that pawn. I can get in front of their king, which will keep them keep their king from moving to any of those squares. So if I played king to d2, they could check me, but then I just get in front of the pawn again. And I've stopped that pawn. But if that happens... I think they're going to go right over here, and if I take this pawn, they're going to go right over here, and then I start chasing them, they're just going to take this pawn, and then that one probably, and have a passed pawn with their king in front of it. All right. So I think I need to do something over here. I think I need to move, I think I need to play g5. And the reason I think that, because if they take, I go past, and I promote before they do. If they take this way, I start marching. They can't catch me, I get a promotion right there. 
So I think I need to play g5. What if they don't, what if they just move that forward? If they just move that forward, I go past and I have a passed pawn. So I think I have to play g5. Oh, they did take. All right, well now the question is, do I go past and then we race? I would promote first, but they would also promote before I could do anything. If I take and they take and I move, I promote first before they have a chance to because I'm one closer. That was just counting. Opponent has checkmate set up right here. What do I have? I have a check, but I think they would... Oh, I yeah, then I would just go here and they would have to block with the rook or move the king and then I would take the rook and it'd be mate. Nope, that wasn't it. Oh my goodness. What in the world? It was... Oh... I need to make myself a checklist. Things to look for. I, I don't look for these bishops. I saw this piece, this square, earlier. But I didn't notice, honestly, what piece it was that I had on that square. All I noticed was that they had two pieces pointed at it. And therefore... And one of them being the queen. And therefore a checkmate. I didn't even notice that it was a bishop. Uh, there's another move here. I, I assume it's moving the rook over for a discovered check. I don't think it's coming down, is it? If it's coming down, they would just take. Then I could check with the... Maybe that's it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. There was a lot of themes on that one. But yeah, no, I didn't even notice that I had a bishop down here. It was that kind of day. I don't know how to get back to the previous page that showed what my score is. Oh, is, would it show it right here? Oh, why didn't anything pop up? Oh, it just had to hover over it twice. All right, so the rating of the puzzle is 2087. That doesn't help me determine what my rating was. Guess I have to go to my stats to see what my puzzle rating is. Well, I dropped 17 points net since I started. Okay, it's been one of those weeks in chess. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.